Deuteronomy chapter 2 So we turned and journeyed into the wilderness along the route to the Red Sea, just as the Lord had directed me. We circled around Mount Sir for many days. Then the Lord spoke to me, saying, You have circled this mountain long enough, now turn northward. And command the people, saying, You are about to pass through the territory of your brothers, the descendants of Esau who live in Seir, and they will be afraid of you. So be very careful. Do not provoke them, for I will not give you any of their land, even as little as a footstep, because I have given Mount Seir to Esau as a possession. You may purchase food from them with money, so that you may eat, and you may also buy water from them with money, so that you may drink. For the Lord your God has blessed you in all the work of your hands. He knows your wanderings through this great wilderness. These forty years the Lord your God has been with you. You have lacked nothing. So when we passed beyond our brothers, the descendants of Esau who live in Seir, away from the Araba road, away from Elath and Ezean Jeber, we turned and passed through the route of the wilderness of Moab. And the Lord said to me, Do not harass Moab, nor provoke them to war. For I will not give you any of their land as a possession, because I have given Ar to the descendants of Lot as a possession. The Amim used to live there, a people as great, numerous, and tall as the Anakim. They are also regarded as giants like the Anakim, but the Moabites call them Emim. The Horites used to live in Seir, but the descendants of Esau dispossessed them and destroyed them from before them, and settled in their place just as Israel did in the land of its possession which the Lord gave them. Now arise, journey across the brook Zird yourselves. So we crossed the brook Zird. Now the time that it took for us to come from Kadesh Barnea until we crossed the brook Zird was thirty-eight years, until all the generation of the men of war perished from within the camp, as the Lord had sworn to them. Moreover, the Lord's hand was against them, to eliminate them from within the camp until they were all gone. So it came about when all the men of war had finally died off from among the people, that the Lord spoke to me, saying, Today you shall cross the border of Moab at Ar. And when you approach the people of Ammon, do not harass them nor provoke them, for I will not give you any possession of the land of the Ammonites. I have given it as a possession to the descendants of Lot. That also is regarded as a land of the Rephaim. The Rephaim formerly lived there, and the Ammonites called them Zamzumim, a people as great, numerous, and tall as the Anakim. But the Lord destroyed them before them, and they dispossessed them and settled in their place. Just as he did for the descendants of Esau who live in Seir, when he destroyed the Horites from before them. They dispossessed them and settled in their place even to this day. As for the Avim, who lived in villages as far as Gaza, the Kaphtarim who came from Kaphtar, destroyed them and lived in their place. Arise, set out, and cross over the valley of the Arnon. Behold, I have given Sion the Amorite, king of Heshbon, and his land into your hand. Begin to take possession and contend with him in battle. This day I will begin to put the dread and fear of you upon the peoples everywhere under the heavens, who, when they hear the report of you, will tremble and be in anguish because of you. So I sent messengers from the wilderness of Kedemoth to Sion king of Heshbon, with words of peace, saying, Let me pass through your land, I will travel only on the road, without turning to the right or to the left. You shall sell me food for money, so that I may eat, and give me water for money, so that I may drink. Only let me pass through on foot. Just as the descendants of Esau who live in Seir and the Moabites who live in Ar did for me until I cross the Jordan into the land which the Lord our God is giving us. However, Sion king of Heshbon was not willing for us to pass through his land, for the Lord your God hardened his spirit and made his heart stubborn, so that he might deliver him into your hand, as is the case this day. And the Lord said to me, Behold, I have begun to deliver Sion and his land over to you. Begin to possess it, and engage with him in battle. So Sion and all his people came out against us for battle at Jahaz. The Lord our God delivered him to us, and we defeated him, his sons, and all his people. At that time we captured all his cities, and utterly destroyed every city, men, women, and children. We left no survivor. 
We took only the livestock as plunder for ourselves, with the spoil of the cities which we had captured. From Eror, which is on the edge of the Arnon Valley, and from the city that is in the valley, as far as Gilead, there was no city too high for us. The Lord our God delivered all to us. Only you did not approach the land of the Ammonites, anywhere along the river Jabbok or the cities in the hill country, or anything that the Lord our God had forbidden.